from pieces to big cups to pieces in big cups. Reese's has tried it all, and so have we. This is how they stack up. These tiny nuggets of peanut butter confection are coated in a candy shell, and it is all too easy to eat them by the handful. One of the things that set Reese's pieces apart from the rest of the product line, and the thing that makes them the overall best, is the fact that they aren't made from the same filling as Reese's peanut butter cups. Instead, the centers of Reese's pieces are made from a peanut meal substance developed by Hershey's that is meant to mimic the texture, but not the flavor, of chocolate. It's significantly less sweet than the typical Reese's filling and packs more of a slightly savory peanut flavor. That, coupled with the fact that there is no chocolate in Reese's pieces, sets these apart. Hershey's Take 5 Bar has always been a great piece of candy because of the way it combines sweet and salty, crunchy and chewy, to create a perfectly harmonious balance of texture and flavor. Even though Take 5 Bars have literally always been chock full of Reese's peanut butter, in 2019, Hershey's decided to rebrand the bar as Reese's Take 5, after tasters supposedly went wild during a test of the new Reese's branded packaging. Reese's Take 5 bars arguably showcase the best application of the signature Reese's peanut butter filling. Because it is offset by crunchy, salty pretzels and peanuts, silky caramel, and Hershey's milk chocolate, the sweetness of the peanut butter just works better. In March 2018, Hershey's announced that a thinner Reese's peanut butter cup was about to be added to the product lineup. The candy masterminds assumed that consumers would feel better about eating a thinner chocolate peanut butter cup, and while that may or may not be true, the reason we rank these so highly is the fact that the thins ratio of chocolate to peanut butter filling is simply better than that of the standard-sized Reese's cup. Furthermore, the dark chocolate shell does a much better job of playing off of the sweet, slightly gritty peanut butter filling. Overall, we think this is the best of the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup offerings. Two great tastes that taste great together. Ultimately, we think that Reese's dark dipped pretzels are the perfect combination of sweet and salty, with just the right amount of richness to balance out all the other flavors involved. Plus, the textures were pretty pleasing, as the peanut butter is as smooth as the melted chocolate on the back. Reese's dark dipped pretzels are one of the few items here where you might just eat the whole bag without noticing. It has all the satisfaction of a salty, crunchy snack, but with that added Reese's flavor for those of us with a sweet tooth. Reese's Snack Mix is what every other kind of trail nut mix wishes it was. This is a stellar combination of treats that includes peanuts, pretzels, Reese's Pieces, and Reese's Minis all together in one bite. It makes for a salty and sweet snack that is simply loaded with peanut butter flavor. The Reese's Pieces are a nice twist on the traditional chocolate candies that come in other trail mix varieties, while the mini peanut butter cups are hands down the absolute star of the mix. Whether you end up eating a Reese's Pieces and a peanut butter together, or a pretzel and a peanut butter cup, any combination of these ingredients will be delicious. Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Unwrapped Minis are one of the best iterations of the Reese's Cup. These are teeny tiny little peanut butter cups that you'll probably find yourself eating by the handful. They have a nice balance of peanut butter filling and milk chocolate in this format, where neither flavor overwhelms the other. These don't have the same satisfying snap as the Thins, but if you freeze Reese's Minis, you get another delightfully toothsome snack. Out of all of Reese's attempts to crack into the candy bar sphere, the Reese's Peanut Butter Giant Bar is the one that stays truest to the flavor of the original Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. The chocolate is smooth and melts in your mouth to reveal the gooey Reese's peanut butter filling that has just the right consistency. It's like a regular Hershey's bar with that signature peanut butter lover's twist that works so well. If you're someone who prefers Reese's products that have a higher ratio of peanut butter to chocolate, then be aware that this may not be your favorite candy option on the list. But if you like it, then chances are that you're really going to like this treat. The Reese's Outrageous is a spin-off of the popular Reese's Nutrageous Bar, which we'll get to soon. The Outrageous Bar takes the same base as the Nutrageous, that classic Reese's peanut butter filling, which gets wrapped in caramel, and changes things up by studding the bar with tiny Reese's Pieces candies. 
for added peanut butter flavor and crunch before covering the entire thing in a milk chocolate coating. If you love peanut butter, this is pretty close to a perfect candy bar. We love the double whammy of classic Reese's filling paired with the creamier Reese's Pieces filling, and the crispy quality of the Reese's Pieces candy coating is insanely satisfying. This is one of those cases where the original is really good, but just slightly less good than the modern spin-off. Enter the Reese's Nutrageous, which was released in 1994. The Nutrageous is the same as the Outrageous, but with roasted peanuts instead of Reese's Pieces. In 2014, four years before the Outrageous debuted, Hershey made the Nutrageous smaller and rebranded it again as the Nut Bar, which also is not a particularly appealing moniker. It's now available again under the Nutrageous title, but it can be a little bit tricky to find. A Reese's Crunchy Cup includes everything that folks like about a standard Reese's, but these peanut butter cups have one small addition that makes a big difference. They're filled with a crunchy version of the signature Reese's peanut butter filling. So for fans of intense peanut butter flavor who want a bit more crunch and a tad more salt in their candy, this is a solid choice. We love the fact that these have more bite than the classic cup, where the filling can tend to be too soft and grainy, especially if you aren't eating your candy directly out of the refrigerator or freezer. This flavor isn't as hyped up as some of the other Reese's Cup offshoots, like the Thins or the Reese's Pieces Cup, but it's certainly a peanut butter cup worth trying. For many people, no matter how many variations and spin-off products the Hershey Company can dream up, there is just nothing that can ever compare to a classic Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. Stuffed with classic Reese's Peanut Butter filling and enrobed in Hershey's Milk Chocolate, this classic candy isn't trying to be anything other than exactly what it is. Hey, you got your chocolate on my peanut you got butter! You peanut butter on my chocolate! What? <laughs> what? It's pretty good straight out of the package. It's better chilled in the fridge, and it's best when it has been taken out of the freezer a minute or two before it's eaten. This is the peanut butter cup that forms the basis for every other product in the Reese's line. And for that, it deserves some serious respect. This is a classic treat that has been winning fans for generations, and it shows no signs of stopping. The stuff of good Halloween hauls, doctor's office candy bowls, and goodie bags galore, Reese's miniature cups are smaller than a standard Reese's peanut butter cup, but bigger than a Reese's mini. These candies have more chocolate than some other Reese's cups, which is either a good thing or a bad thing, depending on your perspective. There is something incredibly satisfying about the act of unwrapping one Reese's miniature cup after another. Nostalgia is a big factor in enjoying the miniature peanut butter cup varietal. They're not just mini, they're sort of kid-sized, and the individual wrapping can make a kid feel like they're getting a whole candy bar to themselves, but in a serving size that won't have them bouncing off the walls for the rest of the day. Reese's Pieces Peanut Butter Cups take the classic milk chocolate Reese's Cups and stuff them full of tiny Reese's Pieces, resulting in a candy inside a candy. It's easy enough to understand why some people love this candy, but unfortunately, it can also be a bit too cloying. The combination of Reese's Pieces and classic Reese's Peanut Butter can work well when it's placed in the context of another ingredient like caramel, as is the case with the Reese's Outrageous Candy Bar. However, when it's just peanut butter, and Reese's Pieces inside of a standard milk chocolate shell, the flavor profile ends up falling flat. The crunch of the candy coating isn't particularly satisfying. This is a good candy for those who love it, but it definitely isn't a must-have. Reese's Sticks are more or less the love child of two classic Hershey's products, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and Kit Kat Bars. Reese's Sticks come in packs of two and have two layers of crispy wafer and peanut butter filling that are covered in Hershey's Milk Chocolate. This is not a bad candy bar by any stretch of the imagination, but it also just isn't as good as either a plain Kit Kat bar or a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. The wafer layers often get soggy and don't have enough of a crunch when you bite into them, likely because of their close proximity to peanut butter. They also don't add anything in terms of flavor, so the fact that they don't have an amazing texture either can make this candy bar feel like a serious miss. Weighing just shy of one and a half ounces, this is a seriously big Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. The huge size is almost too big for most people to be able to enjoy without getting a serious stomach ache and a nagging feeling of regret. It's gigantic. Wow. 
While the various smaller iterations of the classic Reese's Peanut Butter Cup play with the proportions of milk chocolate and peanut butter filling in ways that generally make the combination taste better, the Big Cup warps everything, so you're just getting more, but not better. There is way too much chocolate in a Reese's Big Cup, but there is also way too much of that super sweet peanut butter filling that's just not that enjoyable. The Reese's Fast Break feels like Hershey's best attempt at competing with Butterfinger bars, but unfortunately, this is a candy bar that just falls flat. The Fast Break is a combination of peanut butter filling, nougat, and milk chocolate, but the marriage of flavors is not a harmonious one. There is not enough salt in the mixture, which is one of the biggest problems we have with this candy bar. The nougat is tasteless, chewy, and sticks to your teeth in a decidedly unpleasant manner. The texture of the whole bar is another big problem. It's neither satisfyingly chewy like a Three Musketeers bar, nor is it crisp and crunchy like a Butterfinger. And the peanut butter flavor kind of gets lost in the mix of ingredients. This is a massive Reese's cup with pretzel pieces that have been mixed into the peanut butter filling. The overwhelming amount of peanut butter in the Reese's Pretzels Big Cup already makes it seriously hard to finish the whole piece of candy in one sitting. Once you throw pretzel pieces in, you'll feel like you need to chug a glass of water after each bite. The pretzels add a nice saltiness that helps balance some of the taste, but the whole experience would be better if there was more chocolate than peanut butter in this candy. It's the off-putting mouthfeel of this candy that ruins the experience of the cup. At the point that you'll notice this issue, you're likely already overwhelmed by an outrageous amount of peanut butter. That filling is pebbled with sad, soggy pieces that claim to be potato chips, yet the pieces inside resemble nondescript salty bites more than they do rippled chips. You're better off putting a Reese's cup and a potato chip in your mouth at the same time. At least then the texture of the chip will be preserved.